inexpensive and simple, a speed square truly has many great uses that most people do not even know about. For example, you can use a square to find the degree of angles. The first method is to place the square on the surface with the level on top. Then tilt the square until the bubble shows perfect level and you can read the degree of the angle on the square. Alternatively, you can do so by using the square with a line and weight. Place the square on the material and then on the weight from the lip. Then tilt the level until the side is perfectly parallel to the line. At this point, you can read the degree of the angle. Another great use of a square is to find easily the center of any boards. The first way is by drawing a 90 degree line and then a 45 degree line. Then twist the square and run a 45 degree line using the 90 degree line as a point of reference and the intersection between the two 45 degree lines will be the center. Another simple way to find the center is to tilt the square so that it aligns to an easy number to divide by two and then you mark the center. For example, I tilted here the square to 6 inches and the middle point is 3 inches and that's the center. And before we continue, and if you're enjoying my videos, please subscribe and hit the like button. This helps me greatly bring you even more great content. Thank you. And now going back to the video, another great use of a square is to find out if a surface is level. Just place the lip of the square on the surface. Then run a line with the weight from the side of the lip. The line will automatically fall to 90 degrees, becoming perfectly plumb. If the side of the square is perfectly parallel to the line, the surface is level. If the surface is not level, you will see a space between the line and the side of the square. A square is also great to draw the layout of materials. You can easily lay out the position of 2x4s using the preset distances on the square. And because the lip is usually 3 quarters of an inch, you can easily draw the layout of plywood or other similar material. A square is also great to find the degree of angles on walls or other surfaces. Just take two straight pieces of wood. Place one flat, perfectly touching one side of the slanted wall, then take the other one and run it across the first piece, touching the other side of the slanted wall, and draw lines on top of the first piece using a pencil or a pen. At this point, place the square on the first piece, making sure that the pivot point starts from the line. Then tilt the square until the line overlaps perfectly with the side of the square, and you can read the angle, which is here, 22 degrees. With a square, you can also make precise and perfectly parallel lines along the edge of a piece at preset distances without having to use a tape measure. While different models change slightly, each square usually has preset markings where you can just insert the pencil and run straight lines using the square lip as a guide. These are very handy because they usually correspond to the size of plywood, of 2x4s and of 2x6 material. Another great use of the square is as a guide for the circular saw. A common mistake when used this way is to place the lip on the entry side of the cut. Don't do that because otherwise the motor hits the lip. Instead, you need to place the lip on the other side, which is the exit side of the cut. You can easily use the square as a guide this way, not only for straight cross cuts, but also for cross cuts at 45 degrees. Using the preset markings in the square and the pivot point, you can also use a square to easily draw circles. And finally, you can also use a square not only to draw perfectly 90 degree and 45 degree lines, but also to check that your blades are perfectly square or if you're cutting at 45 degrees to check that your blade is perfectly at 45 degrees so that you can get a precise cut. 
I hope that you enjoyed this video and I think that you will find useful my video link above on the correct blade depth when you use a circular saw. It's a video that created a lot of controversy and I think it's very interesting. Thank you again for watching and if you have not yet done so, please subscribe.